Megan Daw. Hello. If cost and time was no issue and you could go as hard as you wanted to, what character would you cosplay? Um, so I guess this is like a spoiler, but um, yeah, Rogue from X-Men. Uh, <laughs> uh, she's definitely my favorite character and I maybe already spent way too much money on a cosplay and uh, permanently dyed my hair. Um, so that's my, my dedication to the, the character Rogue, for sure. That was a good hair reveal. That was. Love it. Sorry, I guess I should keep it, it down for... This is a hard one. Oh no. Is it math? You have... <laughs> you have one million dollars to spend in one hour. If okay. you don't spend it all, you lose it. Oh, what are you doing with it? Um, I'm... Time is ticking. My brain is like, uh, take an investment baker. <laughs> um. That's not spending. <laughs> Spend it. Right. No, in, no charity and no in investments. Okay. Um, and you got an hour and you are in BFE. Here. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to put it all on different Visa cards, Visa gift cards, and then I can just continue to Oh spend my them. gosh, that does not work. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna shop online. I'm going to buy my dream purse, which is a Versace Medusa. I'm going to buy uh, a bunch of new furniture for my parents' house. Uh, I'm going to spoil my dog and probably buy some more cosplay because that's my addiction right now. But like you still have so now you have nine hundred thousand dollars. With the cosplay though, like I should get to a million though. Um, I mean, I could probably. That's probably like ten cosplays. Oh, <laughs> she, she could buy a spaceship. You can basically rent Marvel for the day and have oh. them create your cosplay. Now, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get the best writers, directors. Um, studio spaces. I'm gonna make my own MCU, the Megan Cinematic Universe. That's what I'm gonna do with the million dollars. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. I tried to invest it, and then I tried to buy these gift cards. I think that's good. Um, do you have a current hyperfixation or something you're obsessed with? Uh, so yeah, X Men just came out. Uh, so I've been reading the comics a lot and watching the TV show and that's yeah that's my current hyperfixation uh, and building props for videos is also um, just repurposing things that I had at home that I know I can use in a future video is also my current fixation would you rather give up coffee or chocolate for the rest of your chocolate, life? chocolate easy <laughs> what book do you have on your coffee table for guests to look at right now and why uh, it's a Dita Von Tee spoke, and because I think she's gorgeous. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Ooh, telepathy. Hmm. And why? Um, I think it'd be interesting to know what people are thinking. Because I'm always like, tell me, tell me. What are you thinking? The Remy's internet, in the back, like, no. no. The internet no. does enough of that for That's us. fair. Yeah, that's all the that's tele fair. telepathy we need. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what is your dream pet? Maybe you already have your dream pet. I do have my dream pet. Her name is Freya. Uh, she's a very hairy case on. I'm sure she's on me right now, even though I'm thousands of miles away. Um, what about a tray you from Never Ending Story? <laughs> I mean, if it's... It's a dream pet. So. I got a million dollars. Right. I, I can make it happen. <laughs> um, but I also love rats. Uh, just little cute rats. Mm. They're sweet. They're smart. <laughs> mm, nice. I'm just going to go through all of them. I can do it. Okay. What does your dream have? That was a dead uh, pan. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what does your dream house or property look like? Ooh, um, very like... I want to say like New England, but like old Victorian style houses, like very Gothic style houses. Um, 
with a, a nice wraparound porch and like lots of intricate outside details, if that makes sense. Mm, nice. Okay, uh, would you rather go on an ice cream date or coffee date first? Coffee, for sure. You can learn a lot about somebody about how they take their coffee. Like what? Like, I don't know. If they're going to make fun of me for getting like a, a like a girly drink, they're not fun to be around. And they're like, I only drink black coffee. It's like, oh, so you take yourself way too seriously. Mm. Cool. Not gotcha. Bad. Yeah. That's it awesome. Makes all the sense. What is your favorite midnight snack? Cheese. What kind? Mozz- like specifically pizza mozzarella. Um, it has to be cut in a very specific way as well. <laughs> this is the most autistic answer I've ever. So it has to be very specifically sliced. Um, and if anything is like slightly off with it, it's not as fulfilling as I need it to be. But yeah. Because it just tastes differently if yeah. it's cut differently. Yeah. It's got like a different mouthfeel or something. I don't know. But mm. yeah. And okay. it's not shredded. It's cut. Block of cheese. Okay. It needs to be. Yep. All right. What is your guilty pleasure trash TV show? 90 Day Fiance. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> yes. You what do you, what about the after? Do you like that one too, where they're all sitting on the bed watching? No, yeah, I yeah. Can't do it. I I still like the people from yeah. the old episodes, and I love seeing them. But I really like the other way. Mm-hmm. Mm. They go. Yeah. Yes. Th- th- those are my my favorite. Yeah. You learn about the world. Yes, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they do a really good Jenny impression, but do it. Do it. I sold all my furniture. It's a very specific <laughs> reference, but. <laughs> oh, Lord. Who is your celebrity role model, if you have one? Ooh. Um, off the top of my head, it, like, somebody I guess I've always looked at or like aspire to be like is kind of like uh, Christina Aguilera she's always kind of like done whatever she wants to do um even if it's like kind of outside the norm she's always like advocating for herself but I would say that's more like in my youth uh and now it's kind of more uh Megan the Stallion who is just like this is who I am and this is what it is and if you don't appreciate it you can just I like that great uh, what's your favorite coffee or tea flavor? Mm, tea is peppermint because uh, I perpetually have an upset tummy, uh, upset mm. tummy, stomach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I also just like iced coffee of any variety. Mm. Yum. Who is your cartoon crush? We all have one. Oh, Remy LeBeau from uh, X Men Gambit. I don't know things. You don't. He does card stuff. Yeah. He makes stuff explode. Yeah. You're fine. You're, you're pretty. Thank I love you. you. I love you too. What is one random fact no one knows about you, but is super fun and interesting, and not that you went to Drake's house with you? <laughs> <laughs> um, the problem is, is that I'm not mysterious at all. I'm just like, there, there is no filter. I'm like, I oh, went to law school. Everyone knows that. I'm really flexible. Everyone knows that. Uh, I was almost uh, an Olympic athlete because I was very good at synchronized swimming, but I got very distracted in my youth and didn't see it all the way through, unfortunately. But I can hold my breath for a really long time, so I wonder why I do what I do. <laughs> Ooh, I thought maybe it's because you floated. I mean, time. it doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I can get them up and out of the water. <laughs> awesome, that's it. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Those are some answers for Those sure. Those are great. Those are awesome. <laughs> That's fun. So fun. I had to say room.